we often talk about white men being more preferred in the dating market. But what we don't talk about enough is that this kind of applies to females as well, bro. Now, I'm going to talk about white women. Okay, because I'm white. I have noticed and observed this time and time again in the community. This is just a fact. I know some of you are not gonna want to hear this, but it is the truth. If you're a white woman, you will have the best options and will be treated better, assuming Keter is paribus, everything else being equal. Being white majorly boosts your SMB for females as well, especially among ethnic men. So many times I see you guys posting bang average, dead average, next door girl and call her Gigi Stacy. Bro, like, have you seen a Stacy before? <laughs> it seems like as long as you are not obese, ethnic men will see you as a Stacy if you are white. But the same doesn't go for other races of women. Both online and in real life, I have seen so many times ethnic men overrating white women. It is crazy. Like, any white woman that is not obese, they are calling her a Stacy. I am actually mind blown, bro. It is crazy to me how much white women are put on a pedestal. By the way, I am not talking about legitimately hot white women. I understand why they might have a higher number of people that have traits that are deemed attractive for females. What are those? Dainty noses. Lighter skin, which is considered to be a more feminine trait. Blue eyes. Data shows men prefer blue eyes in women, on average. I am not saying this. The data says this. These are not my personal opinions. These are usually seen as more feminine traits. I get this part. I also believe that white women have a higher density of stasis. The difference is I am not calling absolute bang average women stasis just because they are white. That is the difference between me and out of ethnic guys who absolutely put white women on a pedestal to the point where you could call it a worship, really. If you are a white girl that is not obese, you are a Stacy to the majority of ethnic men. Not all, of course, but from my experience both in real life and online to the majority of men of color. I'm only going to talk about East Asian people, specifically Koreans, um, because that's what I know. Because, you know, look at me. If I ask you all to think of like beautiful Korean women, you probably think of like K-pop stars, right? That's how pale their skin is. Guess how big their eyes are or how small their noses are. Eurocentric features. And y'all are gonna be like, of course I'm gonna name K-pop stars because they're famous and they're and so they're who I know and it, they just happen to all look like that. That's not a coincidence. It's not an accident that all the K-pop stars and all the K-drama stars all have Eurocentric features. It is the beauty standard in Korea. And the Asian women that white guys fetishize so much usually have Eurocentric facial features. So even if his preference isn't white women, it's still white women. By the way, to clarify something, with this video I am not talking about men's willingness to date. I know the data shows that men on average are much less racially selective and actually respond and message to women of their own. Unlike females where you see a rampant white preference. I am not denying that. I mean, there are a lot of data that show men are less selective. Here's a data from the last year's study from the University of California. It reads, White women are undeniably privileged in the United States, but they are not so universally desired as white men in dating, according to our data. Instead, both straight men and lesbian daters from minority groups tend to contact women who are from their own racial groups over white women, while white men and white lesbians prefer white women over minorities. You can see the graph here, men of color messaging women of their own ethnicity more than white females. There are also other previous data consistent with this. Men are less selective. I am not saying otherwise. But my point is this, men go for what they think they can get. Females, on the other hand, go for what they want. That is why you see these results. Be honest with yourself, dog. Be honest. If these men in this study could get any female they message, would they still message women of color? I honestly don't believe they would. I wholeheartedly believe that if men could have their pick like females do, these numbers would be a lot different. They would be sending messages to white women instead. I truly believe that. What, what uh, ethnicity are you? I'm white, Caucasian. Love that. Um, I'm Asian. Love that. Yeah. Love that. Um, I'm 
I've always been into Caucasian girls. Is it the beard? I can shave the beard. You don't like the beard? I don't. I feel like Caucasian girls don't like beards. I can shave it for you. Yeah, you're gorgeous. I think you're the most beautiful girl I've ever spoken to. Thanks. <laughs> for real? Someone called you down bad. Just, I'm only down bad for you. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I am down bad for you. Now, the reasons for this vary. There is a physical aspect and also social reasons behind this. Even though white women tend to have dainty noses, lighter skin color dyes, there is also a social status boost that comes with dating a white girl as a man of color, even though people like to pretend there is not. Unfortunately, the way society treats you is a lot different. This just engraves the notion in the back of your mind that you are climbing up the social ladder just by being able to date out. You can't only blame ethnic men for this. People, society treats you differently. Even though they say, oh, ethnic women are just as beautiful, they don't show it with their behavior. The treatment you get affects how you subconsciously think. This is why you see out of richer and successful men dating out. Someone in my hands video brought this up. How he got himself a white girl after all that self-development and maxing and bodybuilding. You will see this all the time, even among ethnics. They will say, oh, my girlfriend is lighter skinned than me, wider than me, talking like it is a great achievement. I mean, it is just cringe, but I understand the reasons behind it. JBW is real. Those people would vehemently deny the idea if you brought it up. But just pay attention to how they talk about having a white girlfriend. It should tell you enough. You can observe what I said in the media as well. A friend of mine took these pictures. He lives in an Asian country, showing men on the street stopping random, absolutely random white tourists on the street and taking pictures with them. As if they are celebrity or something. Bro, even the celebrities in the West don't get this treatment. It is crazy. These guys really need to stop doing this stuff. When you are doing this, you are only reinforcing the idea that they are superior to you. Stop giving them free gas, bro. How can you expect them to see you differently if you go take pictures with them? Give them free gas every chance you get, like... Oh Felt like I might have gotten trampled if I didn't escape. There were so many people wanting photos and they were just rushing up on one another and stepping on my feet and just pushing to try to get a selfie with me. It was so crazy. <laughs> the first sentence in that quote is 100% true and that privilege is not exclusive to the dating market either. White females are definitely privileged, and this is why you have Karen as a derogatory term. These white women who grew up being able to get away with anything turn into a deer caught in the headlights when their youth and beauty fades, and they can't get away with stuff anymore. Their obnoxious behavior is not tolerated anymore. The making of Karen. This is why 99% of the time, Karen is white. <laughs> Their arrogance is not seen as cute anymore when their youth fades. To end this video, we need to stop putting females on pedestal, especially white women. I just wanted to talk about this a little bit. This has been bothering me for a while. Let me know what you think and I will see you guys in the next one.